Good morning. So just before I read my poem I wrote a few years ago, I want to uh, tell you about an English politician that was jailed for two months for perjury. Now, after he was released from prison, he was offered a job in the uh, global warming industry, shall we say, uh, at £100,000 per year for a two-day week, which is not bad money if you can get it, because he was the Minister for Global Warming in the, in, in the government. And lots of money from taxpayers and bill payers, because the British public and probably other countries around the world, they have to pay uh, like 8, 9, 10% premium on their gas bills to fund global warming, which is a load of bollocks, in my opinion. And... Uh, so all this money that goes into a massive pot is then used up by former politicians, politicians and their cronies. And, they met, and these wind farms which are inefficient and to funds and to projects in other countries which have nothing to do with, the, with gas who paid the bills in, you know, in England, Germany, wherever. Anyway, so this guy, he got £100,000 because he, he's in the know. He's a valuable person. And it just shows you, even though he's just come out of prison, he can land a job like this. Now, you try going to an employer and tell them you've just been in prison for perjury. You also made your, you forced your wife to take, and you also forced your wife to take the poison. She ended up getting jailed as well. What kind of person is that? But they don't care because they know that this guy is in touch with the people in government, the people who have the funds, the people who are in touch with the funds, they know he can pull strings and they can get contracts via this guy. Contracts worth multi-millions of pounds. And this is why they are willing to pay him. They don't give a shit that he is a criminal. They don't give a shit that he is a piece of shit. Anyway... So this is my poem I wrote a few years ago, and it's called Global Warming From My Arse. Global warming from my arse, only if I fart, fart, of course. I would love to let one go full max, but government would impose a tax. I look around and see the snow, it's global warming, don't you know? Doesn't matter if it's warm or cold, we have to do as we are told. Pay this tax and don't do that. Carbon credits pay fat cats. Politicians toe the line as they finish up their time. No need to think of, well, what now foreign power company will employ. So that's my poem. You, if, you're in, if you're in England now, just like it out the window, you really think it's global warming? In Australia... The government is taking action. They're gonna, it looks like they're going to rescind that tax because they know it's bullshit. Global warming is bullshit. And I don't care how many viewers watch this. If you're a subscriber and you <laughs> no longer want to subscribe, fine. Because I know I am right. Merry Christmas from Santa. Bye-bye. If, you, uh, if you're new to this, Please have a look around my site, about 2,000 videos. Please share, like, and if you're fed up of being told that the earth, that just what global warming is now, is, is now climate change, because they, they know they were caught out on that con. Anyway, before I start getting crazy, I'm going to finish this video. Bye-bye.